How's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up campers. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is talk about what I believe are the top must-have accessories once you buy a pop-up camper. So these are the things that kind of go along with your pop-up that you truly need in order to go pop-up camping. Okay, so the first thing on my list, and this might be an obvious one or something that you might have or might already come with a uh, pop-up camper, but I recommend wheel chocks, right? So you can get uh, nice ones like this. Um, alternatively, there's the stackable variety. So these kind of nest on top of one another and it makes it uh, convenient space-wise, right? Um, even better, at least as far as cost wise is the uh, two by four that's kind of uh, chopped down the length. These will do in a pinch. Wheel chocks is definitely a must have. All right, so next up is your electrical adapters. So the first thing, um, or the first adapter I would recommend is your essentially 30 amp, which is what your pop-up camper is gonna plug into um, running down to, I guess you'd call this a 120 volt or I guess maybe a 15 or 20 amp, whatever. Anyways, what it does is it down it converts um, what your pump app runs off of down to uh, a simple wall plug. That way when uh, you're at home and you need to plug in your pop-up for whatever reason, whether that's to you know run your air conditioner or run your lights or make sure something works, um, you have the ability to do that. Uh, beyond that converter, you have your 50 amp down to a 30 amp. Um, we've honestly never used these because we normally par uh, camp at like state parks. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you're parked or you know uh, camping in a in a in a spot that only has 50 amp for whatever reason, it's not a bad converter to have just in case. Okay, so the next must-have item, and really actually items in this case or a gray water tank and some sort of hose. Um, so what I mean by that is we use a just a seven gallon um, gray water tank just like this that um, will hold um, the majority of our sink water and shower water for just a you know a two or three day camping trip something that might have to be dumped out. And then what we do is we use a simple garden hose that's been chopped down to maybe two or two and a half feet, and then feed this simply into here. If you can imagine this uh, hooked up to the pop-up camper. So um, that is what we use now. Granted, you can get much bigger um, gray water tanks that are a lot more pricey, um, that hold a lot more uh, gray water but uh, we found that this does, um, it, it does it enough for us and if we need to empty it out, we can empty it out after a day or two. So the next item is a hitch lock. Um, so this is definitely an item that always makes me feel better about leaving our pop-up at the campsite or if you're um, leaving your pop-up for whatever reason, even hitched to your vehicle. This just um, you know gives you some peace of mind that your um, pop-up isn't gonna uh, find its own wheels and take off on you. So hitch lock is definitely a must have for me. Some people might disagree, but uh, definitely gives you that peace of mind knowing that um, um, there's something in between someone uh, taking your pop up on you. All right, so the next must have item, definitely get a um, battery tender. Now this is a uh, Black & Decker and it can do six volt or 12 volt. Obviously if you're pop up camping, I would think you would have a 12 volt deep, deep cycle and just make sure whatever you get can in, uh, is appropriate for the battery you have, if you have a battery. So like I said, like I said, we have a 12 volt deep cycle. This is plenty to maintain it over the winter. Um, we kind of learned this one from uh, experience. We didn't put our previous uh, battery on a tender and over the winter it corroded and started leaking and it just didn't do well. So in order to kind of protect our battery investment. This is something I invested in. Okay, so next up, this is going to be a drinking water hose. So a white hose like this 
along with a um, filter for your drinking water. So this is important if you plan on, you know, obviously consuming um, any water you might be um, bringing on board. Um, what um, these two items do is they work in tandem. Um, you'll hook up your hose to whatever water uh, source you have and then hook up your filter directly to your hose. So those work great. Along with these two is going to be a pressure reducer. So what this, what this does is it reduces the pressure of your source water down to a manageable 40 to 50 PSI for your pop-up. And that just ensures that if um, your source water is overpressurized, it doesn't damage any of your internal plumbing. Naturally, you're not going to need this um, if you don't have uh, you know, a plumbing system in your pop-up. But if you do and if you plan on um, you know, connecting into campground water, these are some definite must-haves to uh, keep you safe and keep your camper safe. Okay, so next up, uh, this item also has to do with the plumbing system in your pop-up. So what this is, is this is a kind of a blowout valve adapter for your pop-up. What this allows you to do is allows you to screw in this end into your city water hookup. And then this adapter connects to an air compressor attachment, which then allows you to uh, blow out the water in your plumbing system. So your pipes, um, I guess your water heater, your shower, your sink, etc., And that allows you to then go forward with winterizing your pop-up. So this is definitely a must have um, come the end of the season. Now, once again, if you don't have a plumbing system, don't worry about it, but we definitely do. So this, and I highly recommend having, um, having an air compressor to go along with this to make the job easy. So the next item on the must have list is definitely some sort of level. Our table is not level. <laughs> so um, definitely recommend something like this magnetic level where um, you can attach it to the frame of the pop-up and once you're going to set up your camper, um, you can see if you're you know, level front and back, left and right. Um, the alternative, which I'll show you in just some, with some B-roll footage, is the um, stick-on levels that um, you adhere to both um, the, either the front or the back, it doesn't matter, or the left or the right. That way um, you don't have to carry around something like this and you can uh, make sure your pop-ups level um, when you're setting everything up. All right, so next up on the pop-up camper must-have accessories is a simple lighter. This seems uh, pretty uh, basic, but it's definitely necessary to light both um, your water heater if you have one. Um, you definitely need the reach to get back in into uh, light the pilot light, as well as you know your indoor or outdoor stove or gas grill or something like that. So. Definitely an easily overlooked um, item, but definitely important to get a lot of your appliances working. Now keep in mind, these are what I think you need to like just get started. The, there, there's far more things that I almost consider like mm, nice to haves or things that'll definitely improve your um, you know, pop-up camping trip. But these are definitely, in my, uh, my opinion, the must-haves. So is there anything that I missed that is in your must-have pop-up camper accessory list, please let me know. So that is it with regard to what in my opinion are the must-have uh, pop-up camper accessories. If you found value in the video, please give me a like so I know, I really appreciate it. Um, and subscribe if you wanna see you know more pop-up camper related content.